Okay, it just topped 200 Fahrenheit, about 94 Celsius. Man, it's working good. And the element temps, there's a 434 or 444 max, 229 max Celsius, 223. I can feel this heat all the way over at the computer desk, four, four and a half feet away. Actually, more like six. That's probably more like six feet away. All right, so it's super simple to set up. You just need the two bricks and the three what they call PTC ceramic heaters. These are the hottest ones I could find, rated to 220 Celsius or about 428 Fahrenheit, I think it is. They're just these lightweight flat units with the positive and negative leads. They're 12 volt and uh, they're pretty cool, 30 watts each. So you just twist together the positives and the negatives. And then since I'm doing the 12 volt, I use one of these and just hook it up like that. Then you can either run it on a 100 watt solar panel a battery or just a 12 volt DC transformer plug. But to put it together, that's it. These bricks are about five pounds each, so that's 10 pounds of thermal mass. And it heats this up like crazy in no time. Here's the temp in the house, starter temp. What is that, 68? Pushing 150 after 30 minutes. Top shot 146.5, 63.6. Side shot 144.5, 62.4. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's after one hour. So now it's 8 o'clock. Now we're well into the 180s, over 85 Celsius. The heat's really pouring off of here now. That's all you can really touch it. It's like that. There's a quick shot of the temperature of it from about two, two and a half feet away, just a little over 80 Fahrenheit. We just broke it. 2 hours and 45 minutes, 201 or 93.8 Celsius. So it's definitely working good. There's your air temp about 3 feet from it, 82. Just for reference, I got the window open and 60 degree Fahrenheit air is pouring in right now. Has been all day as a matter of fact. All right, that's about it. Now I'm going to shut it off, and for about two to three hours, you should get some heat out of these, maybe more. By the way, if you're wondering about these elements, I just get them two for $10 on Amazon. They're the 220 Celsius ones, just PTC heating, ceramic, thermostatic. That's what it says on the package. All right, that's where it's going for now. Right there next to the desk. And then for power, I get a 100 watt solar panel right outside the door. If it's ever not sunny, I can just use the 12 volt DC supply right there or a battery. And there it is. Holy smokes. Over 110 Celsius. Again, that element can get to over 400, so it's not surprising that bricks are getting hotter. There's your element temperature. 444 Fahrenheit, 228 Celsius. You can feel a little stream of warm air coming out between the bricks, too. I didn't expect that. But that's cool. That's neat. 
Now you might want to consider putting a fan here even if you want to blow the heat out into the room more. A little 12 volt computer case fan or a small AC desk fan or even a USB fan and just kind of blow the air across the bricks and out into the room. 10 pounds of thermal mass for every 90 watts. So imagine you could make another set of these, do two bricks, then you'd have four of these pumping out the heat. That'd be plenty for an area at only 180 watts, 12 volt. And when you stop running it, you got two to three hours of heat afterwards, maybe more. Okay, this is working great so far. It's totally hot. That's so hot I can barely even touch the bread. I'd say that's hot. For actually cooking though, you need more than three, I found. You need more like six to eight. If you use six to eight with a thin steel pan, you can cook a few things. It feels like a nice even heat. This might be the way to go.